This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kotb. All right. Are you losing your mind? Yeah. It could be something other than dementia that's causing your memory loss. And on a load of lighter note, we're going to go wild over it is time for Boomtastic as we look at the topic that affects many of us, memory loss. It's easy to think you're sliding toward dementia when all of a sudden you can't remember a name or you completely forgot to show up for an appointment. But that's not necessarily the case. There are other factors at play that mimic the signs of this disease but actually have a cure. AARP covers this topic. Barbara Hannah Grufferman is a contributing editor there. Um, and Dr. Brett Osh Osborne is a neurosurgeon. Excuse us. Hello, Fancy. <laughs> so nice Good to morning. welcome Hey, you. Thank you. Let's talk, what are the real symptoms of dementia? Because I think a lot of people aren't quite sure. Or they think dementia is the same is, as Alzheimer's. I, know, yeah. I think that's a really big misconception. I mean, dementia is a, a, a group of symptoms, whereas Alzheimer's is a brain disease. And that's uh, really the difference right there. And Alzheimer's is under the umbrella of dementia. And Alzheimer's is about 70 to 80 percent of dementia cases. So that's number one. My father answer. was misdiagnosed with Alzheimer's. When he had dementia? When it was Lewy body dementia, uh -huh. which is another terrible disease as what, well. Right. What if you're forget like a lot of people watching are probably forgetting things and they can't remember names or keys. Is that, should they be concerned that there's dementia at play? That's a good question. That always happens to me yeah. and oh, lifelong really. And so I what, think so it's in the, the range answer? of it, normal. It, it's a great right? question. And just like your iPhone or your computer has glitches, we have these glitches um, on occasion. And those occasional glitches are completely normal right. and within the realms of, of normalcy. When they become contiguous and start affecting right. your activities for daily living, then it becomes a concern. Right. Well, well, how do you define that, people? though? Like more than 10 times a day? That's concerning. Okay. okay. That All is right. concerning. And also, you know, I walk out of my house and I, I always have this issue with direction. And I know that, again, that's in my normal. But if it started to happen more often, that's when I would so really you gotta think. Be on, and you've got to be honest with yourself, don't yes. you? You, you can't, have to be vigilant. You can't live so, but on that river in but when you're, Egypt. When you're, right. When you're on the edge there, there are certain things that we are in control of that we can do to help kind of stave it off, right? Absolutely. What can we do? It's give me, really all give about us some things we can do. the brain. You know, I think so many of us think about what can we do about our heart? But what can we do what about we our do? brains? Well, how can we exercise our brain, nourish our brains with? The answer is, is that when you fuel the body, you're fueling the brain as well. So the things that augment the cardiovascular right. system augment the brain as well. Right. It's all and, one thing. That's correct. Everything is the same. There was a very, very large study, actually two large studies that just came out recently that suggest that exercise actually maintains the size or it even increases the size of the area in the brain known as the hippocampus, mm -hmm. which is the memory hub of the brain. Right. And what they did was they compared patients who had a genetic predisposition to Alzheimer's disease, didn't exercise to those that okay. did. Mm -hmm. And, and they the found that the 3% decrease in size of this memory hub in the brain that occurs in the patients that have the genetic predisposition to Alzheimer's disease did not occur and those patients that were exercising so, so vigorously. More important than we've even ever thought. Absolutely. Absolutely. And also eating. Other ways to nourish the brain are eating the right foods, Just including, you know, healthy oils like nuts and olive oil. Let's quickly, and also you guys, we, getting we, rid of stress. We just have one minute, so I just oh, want to sure. make sure that, because we talked about things that mask dementia, let's quickly go through them. B12 deficiency. Yeah, that's so you, important. So if you have a B12 deficiency, that may be your issue, not dementia. That's correct. And it's so interesting that this is something that is uh, checkable, it's treatable, and it's also preventable. Is that find that out by a, bl a blood test? It's a blood just test. a simple blood test. Diabetes, people, that's another one. A diabetes and also thyroid. And thyroid. the thyroid, the TSH test, is something that can also be added on to your blood work so when, when you go, go to the doctor, annual exam. Ask for it if they don't Absolutely, Ask they will insist. not normally insist, insist, on insist on upon it. Insist when, when you're over 50. Okay. For sure. All right. All right. Thank, Thank you so Thanks very, so very much. much. I forgot what we just talked about. Well, are they still talking? <laughs> no, no. All right. <laughs> Get set to pirouette yeah. a performance by the School of American Ballet. Hey.